Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video, University in USA versus University in Italy. I would say that getting into an American university is really, really difficult because you are evaluated on so many different things aside from your grade. You're evaluated on how much volunteer work you did, you're evaluated on how many extracurriculars you did, how many languages you speak, you're even evaluated on how much money you have. An American college is essentially a business. They don't need just smart kids, but they need athletes that are going to pack these stadiums and make them money. They need more international students and kids from other backgrounds so they can look diverse and receive more federal funding and receive higher rankings internationally. So American colleges are looking at many different things when they're looking at their candidates and it makes getting into an American college way more competitive and way more difficult. But once you get into an American college, you're pretty much set. Like you have so much support in an American college aside from extraordinary circumstances like I don't know maybe family issues or monetary issues. You don't leave American University because it's too hard or you don't have support. On the other hand Italian universities and I think European universities in general are pretty easy to get into. If you have good grades and you pass the admissions test you're gonna get it. In America you can have a 4.0 and still not get into the colleges that you wanted to get into. But once you get into these European schools there's no um, academic advisor. There's not structure the way there is an American university. There's not going to be all these resources that are going to be pushing you to do well and all of these extra things that you can do to pack up your grade and do well. It's really difficult to graduate on time in an Italian university. Most Italian universities, although the basic bachelor's degree is three years, the average of comp completing a three-year program is four years. Cost. Of course, cost is a huge difference between American and Italian universities. American universities can range anywhere from $20,000 upwards to $60,000 a year, not including room and board. We Americans grew up with this mentality that that's just the way it is. Our parents had to pay student loans. Student loans are just a way of American life. What we don't realize is that the cost of tuition has gone up something like 500% in the last 20 years. Our parents were paying like $20,000 for their whole degree. You could work during school and still pay off your whole degree. Nowadays, that's impossible. Which is all the guidance counselors in high school and all the parents tell you, just do it, just do it. It's worth it. You can't let money stop you from not from going to school. That's why you see Americans signing up for sixty thousand dollar a year loans. It's because you just it just seems like that's the thing you have to do. Where in Europe it's different. People think that education is a right, not a privilege of the rich. And so you have that European universities in some European countries are even free to foreigners and citizens. Italy, the university is not free, but it's still quite affordable. The maximum I've ever seen for a public university is maybe 2,000 euros a year. The most expensive school in Italy just happens to be the one that I go to. The full price of it is around $15,000 a year. But another thing with Italian universities is you actually pay tuition based on how much money your family makes. And there are four income brackets. If you're in the lowest income bracket, you don't pay $15,000 a year, you pay like $5,000 or $6,000 a year. Like America, they have scholarships and stuff to give out. They just don't have as many scholarships to give out in, as in America because the costs are not as high. It's much more easier to pay $5,000 a year than it is to pay $60,000 a year. In America, you will have so many scholarships, so many financial aid opportunities, but it really doesn't put a dent into how much education is going to cost. I got into one school and they were willing to give me like $20,000 worth of loans and I'd only be paying $3,000 a year, but that's still $20,000 of loans that I'd have to pay back later. Another one that gave me a lot of scholarships, but I'd still have to end up paying $12,000 out of pocket. If you if you get really good grades and you don't have a lot of money, you're still going to get a big discount from that 60,000, 40,000 tuition bill, but it's still not anywhere near as affordable as going to school in Europe. Um grading in Italy is on a 30 point scale and grading in America is on a 4 point scale. You have a GPA that's either it's anywhere from 0 to 4.0 and in Italy you can have anywhere from well, not you can't have a zero GPA. You have to have a minimum of third, of 18. And you have to have a minimum in the American one too, but I can't remember what it is. I feel like in America, it's a lot easier to get an A, A minus than it is to get a 30 in, in Italy. 30s are rarely given out. People don't graduate from university with 30 GPAs. Um, 
yeah? So it's really hard to compare the two scales. Here, if you see somebody with a 29, 28 GPA in Italy, then you can see, that's like a 4.0. If you see somebody with a 30, they're a genius and not in any way the norm. Not to diminish American grades because it's still, you still have to work, but to get a 3.8, 3.9, graduate with a 4.0 is much more common in America. Because in America, you're graded a lot on your effort. Exams, assignments, presentations, even attending class or participating in class. So really, if you do, if you put in the effort to do your assignments, your presentations, participate in class, you can still bomb the exam and end with a good grade. In Italy, that's unheard of. In Italy, your grade is one thing and one thing only. It's your exam, one exam. There's a few different ways to do said exam. It's either you know the stuff or you don't know the stuff. It's either you pass or you fail, which also leads me into the method. In America, there's a lot of practice. When you go to a lecture in America, there's always different ways of doing it. You can have a lecture, which is not just the professor reading off of slides to you, but it's a conversation between the professor and the students. They're gonna ask you questions to check your knowledge in the middle of class. That doesn't happen in Italy. In America, you'll have a chapter, right? And you'll have different unit quizzes. So all along the way, you're testing yourself and you're practicing your, for the final exam. Exam, which is why you see that American students don't really study as much because they don't really have to. Going to class and doing the work is enough to give you the knowledge to pass the exam. They're going to be testing you and quizzing you before the exam on all the things that are going to be on the exam. Italian universities are like all lecture. You go to the lecture, you listen to the professor talk. There's really no student inter teacher interaction. It's rarely at Bocconi you'll see some of the foreign teachers try to ask the students some questions, but even when they ask the questions, the students don't Respond. Something about Italian students, they're not really into class participation. They know the answers, but they just don't want to respond. I don't know. The teacher's not going to make you understand, you know? There's not going to be quizzes or presentations or group work or things to check your knowledge. The only way you're going to pass that exam is if you, at the end, take the syllabus and know everything that's on the syllabus. You have to actively study in order to pass that exam. In America, if you don't do the work and you don't go to the class, you can't pass the exam. In Italy, you can get away with not ever going to the class. You can get away with not doing the work because at the end, it's all about studying that book knowing what's on the syllabus and then taking the exam. Now, that was pretty much the hardest part for me, adjusting to the two systems. The content that you're learning is more or less the same. The only difference is in Italy, you're gonna go way more into the theory and you're gonna study it really, really broadly. Whereas in America, it's gonna be much more specific to you and your degree. In America, you study macroeconomics, microeconomics, econometrics. But in Italy, you study it very, very broadly. Economics degree isn't just studying economics. An economics degree is gonna know finance. An economics degree is gonna know like commercial law. An economics degree is gonna know trade policy, politics like I study like things that are very very broad so there's just a lot of pressure with the Italian um, system because of the way that it's taught since it's all theory based it's all based on one exam and also the timing of it in America the university starts around August and ends around May so you have June July and some of August to relax. You also have a pretty long winter break. My friends have such long winter breaks and they have Thanksgiving breaks. I'm always so jealous of them. In Italy, you don't have none of that. Your breaks consist of Christmas, Easter, and if you're lucky, you'll have a summer vacation. If you're really like driven to have a summer vacation, you'll have a summer vacation. But they're never really vacations because classes end for the winter semester and then you'll have your vacation. After two weeks of vacation, you have exams. So you're not going to spend two weeks on vacation because you have exams the day vacation is over. You have to spend those two weeks studying everything from the class before. There's no real vacation. Even when you're not going to school, you still have to study. The only Italian vacation you'll have is if you're driven enough to finish all of your exams in the first session of summer, and then you'll have two, two and a half months of vacation. But it's very rare that people do that. The Italian university is very theory based and because of that it can be very difficult because since it's theory you have to study a lot. When you're learning through practice it's easier because you learn through doing you know once you do something you remember it and once you do something you don't have to do it so many times to understand whereas theory is a little bit more complicated there's a little bit more to it. One thing that I can say though is that I do appreciate the theory based learning for things like math because the first time I ever understood math in my life 
was when I moved to Italy and started doing calculus. Before, I never, I kind of just slid through all my math classes. Like, I was in the higher level math classes, but I was always one of the dumbest people in them. I didn't really understand it. And the teachers don't, they don't try to make you understand. In America, it's like they tell you to go home, figure out a way for you to get the right answer. And if you get the right answer, awesome. You know, there's a million ways to do math, they say, and if you just find one of them that works for you, do it. Whereas in Italy, they say there's this way and this way, this is how you do both of them, and now you know. And since you know how to do it, and they explain how and why it's done that way, because it's a theoretical approach, you understand it a lot better. Which one is better? I would say it all depends on you. Do you want to work in Italy? Do you want to work in Europe? Or do you want to work in USA? Because if you want to work in USA, obviously an American degree is going to be more recognized and easier to be transferred. In Europe, they're always going to take more precedence over European graduates. The technical theoretical teaching that Italian um, universities teach will compensate for the practice that Italian students don't get. If you know the theory behind it, you're gonna eventually know how to do it. Whereas American students, even though they didn't really learn the technical aspects behind it, American universities Universities will prepare you for the job that you need. Um, the skills that you learn from an American university will be enough to excel and do well and be hired for the job that you desire. University experience! <laughs> I almost forgot university experience. Italian university is school. American university is a lifestyle. American university isn't just going to class. American university encompasses your whole four years. You wake up, you go to the university gym or the university cafe. When you live on a college campus, it's like living in a little town full of college students and everything is sponsored by and owned by the university. The college experience in America is college life. You have a doctor on campus, you have a psychologist on campus. That's why American university are so expensive because you're paying for all of these extra little things. You have like sports at American universities that actually matter, you have like Greek life. None of that is there at Italian universities or other European universities. Italian university, you wake up, you go to lectures, and after lectures you come home. It's a lot like high school actually. That being said, I live on my own in Italy. I live in an apartment, I pay the same kind of bills that any Italian would pay. I have to buy my own groceries, cook my own food. You get a lot of independence from an Italian university, even though it might not seem like that whereas an american university you're on like meal plans you're not really doing your own shopping are you and you're living in a dorm that's regulated by the school so it's not really living on your own you're not really paying bills month to month you're not really you know a italian university is going to make you really be on your own you're going to be on your own teaching yourself the stuff to study for those exams and you're going to be on your own like trying to put a life together because there's not that university life and university shelter that there is in America. I think I've talked about this topic enough. I think this video has been long enough. So comment down below with your guys' thoughts. As always, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Mm.